Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, experts and scholars. It's a great honor to attend the JIRAS 21 International Conference. The topic of my presentation today is epidemic period and the post-epidemic era, a case study of high, higher music education. I come from Beijing City University, China, and have been deeply rooted in the field of music education for a long time. My speech today will consist of the following six parts. And the first one is introduction. The COVID epidemic has spread worldwide over the past year. The global COVID-19 has exposed the vulnerability of education and has also promoted the process of digitalization of education. During the epidemic period, Great efforts have been made in the field of global education in order to realize the smooth development of teaching. If the previous music teaching reform was initiative to comply with the development trend of the times, then many teaching reform programs during the epidemic period were passive coping strategies. Some studies have proved that in the face of the development of information technology, the attitude in the field of music education is generally relative conservative. It can be said that the epidemic actually gave the field of music education an opportunity to have to keep up with the development of information technology. In the post-epidemic era, some ways of information technology embedded in education form and teaching mode are surviving. On the one hand, Optimizing teaching structure and reforming teaching mode promote the development of music education in formatization. On the other hand, it satisfies the learning methods and habits of the students after 20, which is called internet every night and highlights the main position of students in the teaching process. The second part. This study reports the results of a case study investigating the implementation measure of music teaching activities in Beijing City University during and after the epidemic period and analyzing its main characteristics and implementation results. Through the summary of the real situation and coping strategies in the case, this paper documents the feasibility dimension of technology empowerment in promoting the development of music education. This study used qualitative case study method to carry out case study on online courses of Beijing City University. Data collected and analyzed included participate or observation experience, participate interview, notification, and announcement.
The identified case is a comprehensive university in Beijing, China. There are three reasons for choosing this university. First, the geographical location and control level are typical. The university is located in Beijing, China's capital, where COVID-19 has a serious form of prevention and control and a high level of prevention and control. As a Chinese capital university with more than 20,000 students, how to carry out teaching activities smoothly with high quality was of great significance to the university itself and the capital higher education field. Second, the characteristics of the source of students and the situation that teaching needs to deal with are universal. Music majors not only come from Beijing, but also from other provinces and cities. Facing the epidemic situation, teaching management was complex. In the first and menu, middle of February 2020, China's university, primary and secondary schools began to carry out online teaching attempts. At the same time, many companies began to work online. For a moment, the network congestion, all kinds of rollover saying emerge in an endless stream. It's very important to carry out online teaching smoothly and take emergency response measures in advance. Third, the online teaching platform used by the university UMOOC online teaching platform is typical in China in terms of educational technology. It is a relatively popular and mature teaching platform in China. After 18 years of development, it has been used by more than 500 Chinese colleges and universities. The participants of the study included music undergraduates, teachers, and educational administrators and teaching assistants. Research focused on interview data and supporting documents. Relevant notices were important supporting documents. Observation notes were a tool to examine the context and relationship between my researcher's self and the data collected. Interviews provided in-depth information about participants' experience and opinions on specific topics. The semi-structured interviews included predetermined questions and further in-depth requestions based on the response question answers to gain in-depth understanding of the participants' views. The next part, findings. First, the digital trend of teaching organization is obvious. During the epidemic period, the online teaching system of teachers, supervisors and teachers were established. The teaching forms were flexible and diverse. The main teaching platform was UMOOC, supplemented by network, interactive tools, conference system, and learning resources. A variety of tools were used together to ensure the smooth implementation of online courses. Online art examination, online pre uh, performance, and other teaching and enroll en enrollment activities. 
In the post-epidemic era, online teaching platform and online teaching resources have been continued and the examination form of online art examination has been continued. Online courses show the characteristics of particip participation and interaction, guiding students to learn and complete learning tasks, and providing rich learning resources to expand students' knowledge. Since the beginning of the source, students have been active and interactive. Playing and seeing courses fully considered the subject characteristics and network factors. In order to avoid the sound distortion caused by network delay, video recorded method was used for stage assessment and the expected effect was achieved. Network teaching was carried out smoothly. Online art examination used to submit videos online for the first test and then go to the university for the second test offline. Music performance examination emphasized real-time interaction and on the sport investigation. It's also limited by the conditions such as authentic timber reiterations and the piano accompaniment. Off-site examination is very difficult, but it's not without solutions. It's a common practice for music colleges to submit audio and video materials or remote preliminary examination, especially in the enrollment process of international students, such as Eastman Conservatory of Music and Manhattan Conservatory of Music, there are mature distance examination methods. During the epidemic period, the biggest advantage of submitting audio and video materials and remote uh, preliminary examination method was that it could greatly reduce the crowd and reduce the risk. And at the same time, it could cover more uh, candidates to the ma maximum extent and the break through the limitations of time, space, and region. The music major of Beijing City University adopted this way of art examination, which was not only implemented smoothly during the epidemic period, but also continued to be used after the epidemic was alleviated. Teachers and students of music major of Beijing City University use music to send warmth, love, and blessing to people through anti-epidemic public farewell online performance. Although teachers and students could not rush to Wuhan like doctors, they hope to combine their own special ties, uh, show their own strength, writing inspiring music works carry forward the main melody and transmit positive energy. Epidemic prevention and control and uh, related psychology services have gradually become an important part of the new normal of teaching. A variety of auxil uh, auxiliary resources are uh, appropriate and uh, convenient, and the promotion of epidemic prevention and control guidelines 
and the star of psychology some, uh, services have played an important role in helping teachers and students cope with psychological challenges. The psychological state of the teachers and students has uh, gradually eased and stabilized. In the early stage of epidemic, faced with an uncertain situation, all kinds of worries and anxieties of teachers and students also appeared. These feelings may be accompanied by the idea of uh, uh, worrying about gain or lose. After, uh, as the epidemic control became clear, the mortality of teachers and students began to stabilize. Uh, after the vaccination of teachers and students organized by Beijing City University, their hearts became more stable and their care for others and communication with uh, the outside world became more and more normal. The experimental design adopted in the study was a case study and the uh, external uh, validity of the experiment was limited. During and after the epidemic, there might be some problems and scope scape for improvement in education and teaching. However, due to the research could not uh, accurately grasp the classroom situation of teachers and students in real time. There was no material support in this aspect. Internet embedded in the field of education was an emergency strategy in the field of music education in the field uh, in the face of emergencies. It not only bring opportunities to the development of higher music education informatization, but also put forward so, uh, so, uh, so challenges to the construction of education information. The development of music education in formalization uh, is the only way in the future. After the epidemic situation in China has stabilized, colleges and universities in the field of music education have got, begun to return to offline teaching but a considerable part of uh, online learning resources and coping strategies have been used. The development of technology and the construction of system will be the possible development direction in the future. From the technical level, it depends on the future development of 5G technology, such as remote, intelligent, automatic piano playing, the synchronous uh, conduction and real restoration of the sound of various music instruments. From the, uh, institu uh, from the inst institutional level, the development of teaching system and ad academic certificate system, such as online cross college, the system development of teaching system and the academic certification will be the future development direction. Of course, uh, different colleges and universities are facing different environments and have different advantages. In the future, 
development process, they will certainly encounter the problem of school-based, which needs to be explored uh, gradually and move forward slowly in practice. Finally, thanks for the organizing committee of JIRAS21 for accepting my paper and inviting me to speak. And thanks for your listening. Welcome to Ask Me Questions. Thank you. Mm -hmm.